What really happens inside the body during sexual arousal? Human sexuality is both a biological process and a deeply personal experience. When sexual arousal begins, the body responds in fascinating ways involving the nervous system, blood flow, and specialized organs. Understanding these changes not only improves awareness of our own bodies, but also breaks unnecessary myths and taboos around sexual health. Sexual arousal starts in the brain. When a person is mentally or physically stimulated, the brain sends signals through the spinal cord to the sexual organs. Neurotransmitters like dopamine and oxytocin are released, increasing desire and heightening sensitivity. This shows that arousal is not just a physical process, it is strongly connected to emotions, mood, and psychological state. During arousal, blood vessels in the genital area dilate, allowing more blood to flow. In men, this results in an erection, while in women, the vaginal walls become lubricated and the clitoris swells. Increased blood flow also causes changes like faster heartbeat, flushed skin, and heightened sensitivity across the body. The clitoris is a highly sensitive organ located at the top of the vulva, just above the vaginal opening. Although small on the outside, the clitoris extends internally, making it much larger than most people realize. It contains over 8,000 nerve endings, twice as many as the penis, making it the most sensitive erogenous zone in the human body. Its sole biological purpose is to provide sexual pleasure. For women, arousal can include clitoral swelling, lubrication of the vaginal canal, and increased sensitivity in the breasts and nipples. The clitoris in particular plays a central role. Unlike men whose reproductive and sexual pleasure organs overlap, the clitoris exists only for pleasure, highlighting the importance of understanding it in discussions of female sexuality. Sexual arousal is a natural and healthy part of life, yet it remains misunderstood in many cultures. By learning about the body's responses, such as the role of the clitoris and how the brain and blood flow contribute, we encourage healthier conversations about intimacy, consent, and sexual well-being.